Okay guys, so Paul Bates here up on the bridge of Southern Estate and uh, we're waiting out a storm right now. Today we've had uh, wind gusts to 31 miles an hour. So a couple days ago I put out a video talking about Navionics and uh, uh, one of the comments came back says you can't use it as a, a reliable source because you don't have depth. Well, he's right and wrong. It's all we use, it's all we use on Southern Comfort. It's all I used on Loop Princess. I've got over 3,000 miles with it. It's all I use. But dealing with the depth, what am I going to do? Well, I bought this little sonar right here. You can see this package right here. I bought this uh, uh, sonar um, phone T-Box. I had one on the Loop Princess. And what that does is gives me depth. And the one on Loop Princess, I mounted exterior outside of the hull on the back transom. This boat, we're gonna glue it into the hull, so we'll see if there's any difference. Um, I've heard everybody else gluing them into the hull had no problem at all. But all this is is a, is a Bluetooth transducer sonar, and it will give me readings, uh, depth readings, on my Navionics on my Samsung tablet while I'm driving the boat, or anytime. And uh, so that's just, just a quick video to straighten that out, and let you guys know that it is possible uh, to get a, you know this tea box right here I bought it on Amazon for about 150 bucks and that's it and then you just glue it into the hull you glue, glue the transducer into the hull and hook up your positive and your negative wire and then you just go through the follow the app steps I've already got the apps on on the Samsung I've already got it on the iPhone so I'll have to go in and just turn it on basically and that's it I just leave it I, on Loop Princess I just left it on all the time and every time I turn that Samsung on my tablet on, uh, depth would automatically just come up. Um, the only disadvantage to it is you do use your Wi-Fi connection. So your tablet isn't connected to Wi-Fi, the internet Wi-Fi, it's connected to the Wi-Fi on the transducer, which I've never had a problem with that. Everything worked fine and it's the way I'll continue to do it. And I actually have multiple uh, Samsung tablets. So I may just separate the two of them and put that one completely on its own tablet on this boat. But on uh, Loop Princess, I didn't do that. Uh, I'll show you a picture here of uh, what it looks like when it's all fired up. Anyway, Paul Bates, peace out. Got any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, and again, we're stuck here due to weather. Uh, we'll be um, here for probably, probably till tomorrow. We're gonna try and get out of here tomorrow morning, but even the wind tomorrow morning is supposed to be pretty brutal. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I wanna do like a 59 mile run. So got some work done in the engine room today, uh, this morning already. Anyway, Paul Bates, peace out. Take it easy. Be good or be good at it. Thanks. Bye.